Hello everybody, this is Professor Lipsky and welcome to week three. Uh, this week we're going to do an assignment on our leadership profile uh, as well as focus in on emotional intelligence uh, and also some team aspects around lighting a fire uh, in Lencioni's book on the dysfunctions of teams. So uh, one thing I wanted to share with you was in terms of my own leadership journey, uh, at one point, I didn't think I wanted to be a leader, and I was talking to the head of HR uh, at one of the organizations I worked at, uh, and he was asking me to take on a broader role, uh, go from having uh, two direct reports to having 12 direct reports and much larger scope. Uh, and I said to him, you know, I, I really enjoy the practitioner uh, part of my job, the teaching, the coaching. All the work that I do there uh, and he said well what is it that you don't like about you know leading a larger team I said well there's you know there's so much administration and you know the the constant uh, challenges that people have around complaining about their jobs it just it feels overwhelming to me he said well what do you like to do well I, I really enjoy developing people and helping them grow themselves and those ahas that people get when they could do something that they couldn't do before. And uh, he said, well, yeah, you really like being a leader. So this is the perfect job for you. Um, so I accepted the role and I found that it was very challenging because you're dealing with many more employee issues. Uh, but the great thing was I had a chance to have that, any more, that many more ahas developed in terms of helping people grow and find themselves. And one other area in terms of being able to light a fire uh, under a, a team is when I was at uh, working at a call center and we had uh, two parts of the call center, an analog and a digital support center. Uh, this is at Sony Electronics. And the, uh, the leader came in to the facility and said, uh, called the leaders from the analog and the digital side to a meeting and said, you know, we need to figure out a way to, to merge this call center because analog and digital products at the time were also converging. And he, he shared a little chart and he said, basically, if we continue to serve customers the way we're doing now, we'll bankrupt the company in a, in a matter of years. Got everybody's attention, lit the fire, he left, and then I had a chance to work with those teams in facilitating a process to help merge that center and come up with a new design for the organization, uh, which ultimately was very successful. And we involved all the people in the facility and we had high commitment because the people in the facility helped really to drive uh, the end result, the organizational design, the new positions in the facility, some of the key training areas. So that was a great opportunity to involve people in the process. The last thing I wanted to mention is around emotional intelligence. And when I think of emotional intelligence, I think of the radar and regulation. So when you walk into a room, walk into a meeting, what's your radar say about what's happening in the room, reading the individuals, but also the internal radar around what do you read around your own uh, anxieties, concerns, purpose in terms of why you're there and what you can accomplish. Then you go from radar to regulation. And in regulation, how do you regulate your own behaviors to have your intended impact in the room? So in terms of having that intended impact, think about, are, is there a need to increase the energy and focus of the group? Is there a need to de-escalate the energy and, and get the group to calm down and focus? Right? And what you can do as a leader is using your emotional intelligence, be able to read the room, read yourself through your radar, and then regulate your behavior to accomplish what you need to accomplish in the room. Again, great postings this week. This week's assignment around the leadership profile. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, and I hope everybody has a great week. Thanks very much.